Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi began his third term in office this week, boosted by massive new funding, but experts say the route out of economic crisis will be long and challenging. Mr. Sisi was the winner of December's presidential election with 89.6% of the vote against three unknown candidates. He will officially be inaugurated for his third term on Wednesday with local media reports that he will be sworn in before Parliament's day. Unless there is another constitutional amendment, this six-year term is expected to be the 69-year-old's last. Experts have been speculating about the possibility of a cabinet reshuffle in Cairo, struggles to contain the fallout from the two years of economic crisis and the shortage of foreign currency. Analysts declare in early 2024, the Arab world's most populous country appeared to be hustling towards default and economic collapse. Suddenly, it received more than $50 billion in loans and investment. In the space of a few weeks, the United Arab Emirates announced a $35 billion deal to develop Ras al Higma in Egypt, the International Monetary Fund, more than double a $3 billion loan, the World Bank, and the European Union signed new financing agreements. According to former deputy MP Ziad, the massive rescue package saved Egypt from plunging into the abyss. In the wake of these agreements and another currency devaluation, the country's fit since 2016, economic indicators show signs of improvement. Financial services firm upgraded Egypt's credit rating while months of frozen investories began to be released into the import-dependent economy.